Good afternoon. You're looking at SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster number nine ahead of its first static fire from Starbase, Texas in just under two minutes from now. For those of you following along, it's been three and a half months since our first integrated flight test of Starship. In that time, the teams worked on multiple improvements to the booster, as well as the pad systems and infrastructure, which we will be testing out today, in addition to a new startup sequence. Most visual not noticeable upgrade to look for this afternoon is the new water-cooled steel flame deflector, a water deluge system aimed at protecting the pad against the immense heat and force of a Starship launch. Today's test is to static fire the super heavy first stage. We are not looking to lift off today. That means the engines will not throttle up to full power. That would happen after a liftoff. But even at the power of today's test, Super Heavy will have more thrust than Falcon Heavy does at full power during its flight. Now from start of ignition of the first bank of engines through shutdown of the last engines, today's test will run just under five seconds. Prop load started at T minus 67 minutes. Now while we're fully loading locks today, we're only doing a partial load of the methane fuel, just enough to support the short test. You may notice frost over most of the locks tank, but just a portion of the methane fuel tank. We've heard the announcement for flight director. We're past the 40 second hold point if needed. T minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds, let's listen in to the last half minute of the countdown of today's static fire. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, you saw the countdown, the water deluge system, ignition of the super heavy first stage. Right now, we're waiting to hear Tractor over reports. countdown net. We reached a test duration of 2.74 seconds with four engines shutting down prematurely. Heard a call out over the countdown net. Here as we we're still waiting to find out.